Well, 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 good afternoon, YouTube modeling community. Robert Bishop from RB Model Works coming at you from Moscow, Idaho. Uh, I know it's been kind of delayed, but I've been promising a chrome test, and so here we go, finally. Um, what I'm going to do is start off with just some metalizers that I tried out. Um, just so you kind of get... Um, you know, a look on what they look like. Um, this is Tester's Chrome over Spastix. So, I mean, it's obviously not Chrome, but you still get a nice polished aluminum look. Um, that's one, just gives me another aluminum option in the can. Um, this is Jump Winds Aluminum. Again, just a nice metal look. Uh, theirs are a little darker, all of their paints are. But they have some really good looks to them. And this one is Jump Winds Duraluminum over Mr. Color. Um, doesn't, these metalizers, it doesn't really seem to uh, prefer one over the other. Um, and again, you can see as a Duralumin, this, this almost looks more like a steel, but still a nice color. Uh, and then I think this is the last one, Jump Wind Champagne Gold over Alclad Base. Uh, this is a really nice color. I like that. And then we have Alclad Polished Aluminum over Mr. Color. For the life of me, I could not get that nice polished aluminum that I like about that. I had a hell of a time. Um, I started out using this airbrush. This was a uh, an Amazon special. It was uh, referred by my, my guy, Barbados Rex. Um, number one, I'm running a, the .5 needle in it, and I think... I definitely should have had a point two or point three, but uh, I've sprayed bodies with this. It actually works good. I had to change it the uh, tip out, but uh, it actually works good for bodies, just not metallics. So what I went to is this old trusty point zero that I've had. Um, it's got multiple needles, but this one I do believe this one I run the point two. And I like this because with the Mac valve, I can crank down the air for when I am doing metallics. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't use this one until the end when I redid uh, a couple, just a couple chromes. I redid the uh, Spastix, and it's one that doesn't say any, any base color on it. I'll get to that. And then uh, Mr. Color SM Chrome. Uh, again, my boy Barbados Rex told me you could get it. And actually, he sprayed his and it, it came out like chrome. I tried it. You mix it uh, SM206 chrome 15 to 1 and spray it like all clad. Well, that's what mine came out like. I mean, nice polished aluminum look. Still no chrome. So since I did that, I figured I'd try... Uh, the buffing metalizer line mc211 chrome mixed it 20 to 1 buffable after that <laughs> nothing so so anyway uh let's get to the chromes i'm gonna hold these uh separate tests off for the side for right now let me get those All right, we'll start with spastics. Um, I used uh, the spastics base and then the chrome. Um, again, I think I just shot it way too heavy and it just does not look good. Um, and there's a theme here. Uh, most of the spastics base, black base that I shot over, they didn't come out very well. 
Same test, same airbrush, but over Mr. Collar Black. You can see the reflection in it. Much better finish. Um, buff it out a little bit. You can see... I mean, it's durable. I did it a week ago, but it's durable. It's not smudging. It's not smearing or anything. Um... And then this is just plain, um, plain old spastics. Um, wonder, did I do two on the spaz? Yeah, I must have. These must be just two spaz over Alclad. Because I used uh, Alclad base on these last few. But uh, that one didn't come out very well. But you can see this one did. Um, look, you can see it's got a pretty, pretty good reflection there. Not bad. Um, so all in all, I would rate this probably in the realm of all my chromes, I would give this probably about a B minus, not, especially going over, um, their own base sms hyperchrome i was very enthusiastic and i uh, really like this it's an alcohol based um i shot my bumpers for my last car the 99 with it and it came out very well uh that's the special one as well so we'll put that over there but again with that airbrush went on way too heavy uh, you can see it just turns out like polished aluminum. Um, so then I really backed up, and this is on Mr. Color. This is on Spastex again. Uh, just didn't, um, doesn't seem to like it. Get down to, you can see the reflection of me in there. Uh, it starts getting better. Um... Once I change um, bases, this is the Alclad base. Uh, again, you can see it's got a decent reflection to it. The finish on it is, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of uh, hazy a little bit. Um, so I'm not, I'm not overly impressed with that either. Uh, the one I was really disappointed I couldn't get a decent finish was all clad. I've, you know, I've painted many with uh, this all clad over all clad. Um, you know, it looks okay at best. Um, I just could not for the life of me. I think I got, this is over Mr. Color is was my best one. And again, you gotta understand guys, I am not a professional airbrusher. I'm not a great airbrusher. I'm just your average Joe Schmo guy that wants a decent chrome. Um, Alclad over Alclad. Um, had all kinds of dust problems on this spoon. I must not have wiped it off or cleaned it. But that's a pretty darn good finish on that one. So, you know, uh, these I kind of give about the same grade, about an A minus. Um, and then using the same airbrush, uh, this one. Uh, Green Stuff World Airbrush Chrome. And the difference between the brushable and airbrush is they're brushable. You can put it over anything, any base, whatever. The airbrush needs to go over a black base. So, let me see. This one's GSW Air over All Clad. Got a pretty decent finish, a little bit hazy. Um... over X1. This I purposely did a little bit heavy to see how it'd come out and it just 
looks more like uh, an iron. Um, GSW Air over Alclad. Again, aluminum. I could not get a decent finish. And then uh, this is the one I actually I'll save that for. my airbrush change so again I think it comes down to the airbrush I was using um, and my inexperience or just my inability to get a good uh, this one does not atomize the paint well at uh, low volume so coming to the good stuff this is uh, Green Stuff World's uh, brushable chrome. Um, brushing it on, this stuff is absolutely great. It goes on heavy. Um, you can put it over any base, anything. You can see this one, beautiful chrome finish. Um, let me... You can see there how much uh, it reflects. And that's over spaz sticks. It really doesn't matter with this stuff. Uh, this is shot on a plain spoon. Um, again, you can see how good the uh, reflectivity is of it. And then GSW over X1. Uh, again, very nice. This is uh, this has been my go-to chrome for a while. I've just been trying different stuff. Um, just great, great chrome finish, and it's durable too. Um, you know these uh, these have been sitting a week, but I can sit with my greasy, unwashed hands. And you can see it just, it still, it still shines. Very, very good stuff. So then this is the uh, latest in my, in my chrome. And wanting to replace the markers, I came across these uh, chrome silver markers uh, and the refill bottle. And just so you know, this is 20 bucks for the set. Uh, this isn't bad. It's like six. This is eight. These are under five dollars each. I order these factory direct from Spain. And then this uh, from Mecca Warehouse, it's like eight dollars for the refill. Still not back in stock. So, anyway... Display chrome over black base. Again, beautiful, beautiful finish. Uh, high reflectivity. Uh, very, very nice chrome. This one's almost almost too bright. Uh, this is GSW. Uh, you can see it's just a little bit brighter. Almost... This is almost like uh, kit chrome, which isn't bad, but uh, still, I think it's just a little bit too bright. But same thing. Uh, oh, no, not the same thing. I did not notice. Well, looky there. Uh, just flicking that, I marked up the chrome. So that is not a good sign. Uh, but in general, let me see if I can just rub it with my finger and, uh, yeah, it's marking up and taking off the chrome. So with excess handling on this display chrome, you are going to get disfiguration. Um, so anyway, I got rid of this airbrush. And then I went to my point zero with the Mac valve. Cranked it way down to 
Oh, about 12 PSI. 0.2 needle. And then this is the difference. Um, still not as good as I've seen some of the pros do it. Um, whoops. Um, but nonetheless, some pretty darn good reflectivity. Um, this is another SMS. Uh, you can see I, I didn't put anything over it. Uh, or on on the base I just sprayed that right on uh, on the spoon uh, definitely put down a primer a base coat and then this um, so it doesn't scratch off like that um, this is Alclad um, over Alclad primer uh, this is the best one I got with that, with the 0.2 needle. Um, you can see it's got pretty good reflectivity with it. Um, so it's possible for me to get that, that nice coat. Um, and then the last one is the Green Stuff World Airbrush Chrome. Um, again, pretty darn good reflectivity. Um, again, this is just base coated and then, the the chrome definitely put down a primer so you don't, uh, you're not able to scratch it like this. Um, let me see. I know I've got a spastic here too. Hmm. wonder what I did with it. Somewhere. Oh, here it is. So, and then this is the spastix I did uh, with the new airbrush. And it was my best coat with the spastix to date. So, so definitely, uh, moral of the story for me is I need to definitely use um, my point zero uh, with the MAC valve or... Uh, I thought about actually getting a 0.2 needle in this, but my only issue with this one is it wasn't atomizing the paint very well to begin with, with the 0.5. It may be better if I put the 0.2 in there, but I'm just not sure that it will. So, um, shooting chromes, uh, I would say... For my money, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell someone every time, Green Stuff World Brushable Chrome, um, and actually I will do a brush test for you here real quick as well, just to show you, um, what this looks like when you brush it, and actually you don't really brush this stuff on yeah kind of dab it on here's a muffler let me find a brush here all right so all we're gonna do let me zoom in a little so all we're gonna do is just brush this on and you can see i'm not doing your typical brush stroke with it um just kind of dab it on and uh, build it up that's about it the nice thing about it is being alcohol based that it dries pretty pretty good uh and by pretty good i mean it evaporates well um, you can see, and it gets more as it dries and it evaporates and levels out, it will get shinier and shinier, um, just like the chrome did, wherever the chrome, 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 it'll look just like that. So... 
easy to brush on you just let it dry um these have been drying for a week you can see i can't i'm not able to rub that stuff off very durable uh easy to use uh go out and get you some of this order at factory direct from spain it's going to take about three to four weeks worth the money guys thank you have a blessed weekend uh got a couple weeks before daytona 500 is coming up uh got a bunch of new stuff coming down the pipeline on the channel um doing the 2023 group build uh nascar group build um which i am doing herschel mcgriff's number 04 charger uh so lots more to come guys Thanks for hanging in here and sticking with me. I appreciate it. Have a blessed day and we'll see you next time.